Am I live now? Please somebody tell me I'm live now. Please somebody tell me that I am live because I have been trying to go live for about two minutes. <laughs> for like two or three. No, I'm here. I'm here. Golden Goods, can you see me? Can y'all see me now? Please say y'all can see me now, because I swear I've been going through some changes trying to get this. Y'all know I'm, I'm always on the wrong channel, and I can't go live over there. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I was just talking to thin air. I was live. I swear I was live. Okay, we here. We here. Okay, people can see me. Yes, squads in the house. Jazzy Bell, shout out to Kate for being the first person in the building. K Hall, okay. Oh, Cliff, Shamika, Queen, Leo, amazing. Everybody's here. Golden Goods. Brit, okay. I see. Okay. If you haven't already, on straightfromtheA.com today, um, I talked about Tamika Tiny Harris's birthday party. Okay. We're gonna dive into that in, in just a second. But let me let me wait for some of y'all to stream on in. Come on in. Come on, join the party. Come on, join the party. We talked about girls chat last night again. I'm not trying to. Everybody be like, oh, Lord, she done focused on Tiny now. I'm not trying to focus on Tiny. Apparently, the squad is focused on Tiny. Because when I say all y'all keep sending me Tiny this, Tiny that. T.I. didn't go to Tiny's birthday party. T.I. didn't go here. Now they G cheating and she took them back. And I don't know why she keep taking them back. And what's going on with T.I. and Tiny? And like I said last night on the girls on the girls talk. Was it last night? Night before. You know I be losing track of time. On the other night, we was on girls talk. And I was like, look, if Tiny love them, if Tiny is okay with it, I'm okay with it. Why is the world mad at her for her relationship? As y'all know, Tiny turned 43 on Sunday the 14th. No, Saturday the 14th. Saturday the 14th. And since I, my thing, I said, since T.I. didn't appear at her birthday party, because that was the word on the curve. Everybody like, oh, my God, T.I. wasn't even there. Tiny was there by herself. Wasn't nobody there but Zonique and Toya and Candy and Tamika and Latasha Scott. I mean, T.I. wasn't even at the Gold Room celebrating Tiny's birthday party. Where was T.I.? Was we was T.I. with his side chick? What's going on with them? Why she don't have on her ring? I don't know the answers to all of those questions. But if you go over to the site, I posted all the pictures from the birthday party. So, needless to say, the next day after the birthday party, <laughs> T.I. shows up with a brand new Mercedes convert. Well, no, excuse me. It wasn't brand new. With a, with a slightly used Mercedes convertible. I mean, you know, it's her birthday. Like... It's a better car than most people have. It's a Mercedes. It's got red leather seats and stuff. It's got Louboutins in the back. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. So, you know, he filmed it. He he put it on social media. It didn't matter if he wasn't at the birthday party or not. He came through on her birthday with a new car. Correct? Am I right? Am I wrong? What y'all think? I mean... He for, she forgave him. She got a new car. Um, you know, we all looking on social media like, oh, he got her car. You know, whatever. She appreciated it. She went on her social media and said what? This man. Wait a minute. I'm going to read it directly. Hold on. Let me go to my Instagrams. Let me go to my Instagrams. T.I. brought it and he said what's understood requires no explanation. I'm always here to show up and show out for mine, regardless of whatever. The king ain't never missed a beat. And if you haven't seen the video, I could put the video up here. Could I put the video up here? He said every time he get caught, he buck. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a lot of women out there who take their men back for less. I mean, it's a lot of women out there who, 
going through troubles and trials and tribulations, and they ain't got no car. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't get no car, no house, or no bank account, or no Louboutins. So, I mean, I don't know what's right or what's wrong. Only thing I know is she looked pretty happy when she sat in the little car in the seat, even though her legs couldn't, you know, touch the, the brakes. She looked happy. She looked like, look, I got a car. And if karma is any indication, y'all know I'm in Atlanta right now. If karma is any indication, just moments after she got her convertible, it started storming. But that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story because God don't like ugly and I ain't going to do it today. I am not going to do it. But um, uh, Tiny posted on her Instagram. She said, thank you so much, Mr. Harris, for showing out on my actual birthday so she was shading the people who were like where he at what where t.i at it's your birthday party girl where he had to pop these bottles girl so she got her new car she said thank you for showing up on my actual birthday not the day before on my birthday my man was there with a car take that jump offs anyway <laughs> and she said, I really love this car and all the other nice gifts. And I just wanted to tell you how thankful I am. Regardless of whatever, you have done more for me. You have shown me more love than most will ever have a man to do give in a lifetime. And I appreciate you for that. By the way, I'm having an amazing birthday. Thank you to everyone who made my day a special day. 714 cancer season. 17 years. She's been 17 years by this man's side. 17 years. That's a long time. They got kids. They got love. They got investments. They got properties. Property. Property. Let me say that. Property. If you've been reading straight from the A4 for a while, back in 2014, uh, Tiny bought a house. Okay. That was another time when everybody was like, is she separated? What's she going to do? She done moved out. She got a new house. She's not living in the family house, house no more. What's going to happen? Who going, what are they going to do? What, what, what's going to happen? She bought another house. Okay. <laughs> so I was the first, it was exclusive to me on straight from the a.com. Shout out to all the sites who picked it up after I, posted it and showed the lavish mansion that she bought in you know jones in back all the way back in eagles landing way over on the south side fast forward to fold you know back then tiny was saying you know i bought that for my mama it's not mine whatever whatever but you know come to find out it is her house it was her house and you know she was living there while ti was living you know about a mile or two down the street Okay, everybody know it. It is what it is. If they love it, I like it. If they like it, I love it. Whatever. So, <laughs> T.I. Get gets arrested, right, in May for allegedly breaking into his own home. But it wasn't his home he was breaking in. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the mugshot? T.I. smiling. T.I. T.I. was mad because the security guard wouldn't let him into his house. And how dare he? <sighs> everybody knows. In Atlanta, you know, I'm not talking about these these people who hear, you know, hear from us. But everybody knows that it wasn't T.I.'s house that he was trying to get into. He was trying to get into Tiny's house. That was in May. And he got mad that the security guard wouldn't let him in. How dare you? Do you know who I am? I am T.I.P. I am the king of the South. If you don't recognize, you better recognize, you know, whatever. So, eventually, Tiny called. He got in. The rest is history. He felt some kind of way. He went back up to security guard, tried to fight the man. The man called police, whatever the case may be. The man, the police arrested T.I. for disorderly conduct. It was 4 in the morning. He probably had been drinking, just coming from the club, and nobody wanted to do all that. The man was just doing his job. He went to jail. He got let out. Done. Okay? Here we are. July 5th, 14th. Squad member who shall be re remain anonymous sends me a little Instagram uh, DM and says, "Girl, wait a minute. I want to. I want to read it because I'm not gonna say your name. Don't worry. I'm not gonna say your name." It was like, "Hey, Michelle. I was just minding my own business and I saw Ti gift Tiny with a used Mercedes. You know, 
And I so I looked on her page and noticed it was at a condo in Buckhead. Strange. With the little thinking face emoji. Strange. So I went to my dear friend, Mr. Google. And I found this. <sighs> First, let me say. When I saw T.I. getting off the elevator in the condo in Buckhead, when I saw T.I. walking out the door to the parking lot to the condo, the apartments in Buckhead, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, my God, it looks so familiar. It's in, it's in Buckhead. Hey, you know, I live in Buckhead, whatever. So, you know, they filmed and everything. And T.I. to put where the lady live on the thing, on, on the damn Instagram. It's all behind her. It's a apartment home. I'm just like... Really? Okay, whatever. So, the squad member that sent me this and said, um, is it me or did her house get foreclosed? And I'm like, girl, I, I mean, I mean, girl, let me, let me look, let me click this link and see what it looked like. So, I clicked the link to the Henry County ledger, whatever, and it's like, Tamika Cottle Harris, you know, I ain't gonna read the lady address and all of that. It's uh, uh, the, the details of the foreclosure. State of Georgia, County of Henry, uh, notice of sale under power by virtue of sale contained in that certain deed to secure debt, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know what a foreclosure notice looks like. It's foreclosure notice. Um, it was to be sold on the courthouse steps. Um, uh, what's the date? On February 6, 2018. February 6, 2018. And if you know anything about real estate, you know that even if your the house is foreclosed, you don't have to leave the next day. They get a little while to get your get crap up and get out. So, um, we put all the pieces together. The squad, the Atlanta crew, the people on the street, the, the people on the curb. Like, everybody putting all these pieces together. T.I. wasn't at the birthday party. T.I. came with a car. Uh, Tiny was at a Buckhead condo in some apartments. Uh, her, house, her house been foreclosed. It's like, okay, so apparently she didn't move into the, the, the condos because she didn't lost her house. And this dude then came up and gave her a car. <laughs> I ain't judging. I am not, but I am. But I'm not, but I am. But, like, what what I need, what I need a car for, you could have paid my rent. You could have paid my mortgage. Like, what I need this car for? I can ride the Uber. I can ride that black Sprint y'all be driving around. I can do, I can ride with Candy who, you know, who stores right down the street in Buckhead. I can ride, like, I ain't got nowhere to go. My Zonique can come pick me up. Like, what, what I need a car for? I would rather you pay my mortgage on my house that just foreclosed. Like, why would you let my house foreclose and then you come give me a car? A car. A used car at that. And then got the nerve to get on Instagram and show where the lady lived. Like, okay, no judgment, but judging. <sighs> you know, there are a lot of women who are in controlling relationships. There are a lot of women who are in toxic relationships. There are a lot of women who are in relationships, like Tiny said, that don't get half of what she gets, okay? That's a given. It's not like the lady homeless. She does have somewhere to live. I'm just like looking at it like what is like it is is it just seems like he's trying to exert some kind of power over her like maybe if he didn't pay the mortgage she would move back into the family hustle house which is where he wanted her to be in the first place because you know she bought the other house to try to be independent to be like okay and I'm going on tour with escape I'm getting my money whatever whatever going on tour with escape is not going to pay for no 1.5 million dollar house it's not is is not. I mean, you know, I'm sure she still has money and change and all of that. That's good. But, you know, she also has kids. She also has like her her money, her her income was not sufficient to support her lifestyle if he wasn't chipping in, if you understand what I'm saying. So, it's like now, okay, she in her own house. 
I would hope, you know, he was trying to help pay because she does have a young daughter now, you know, it's child support, whatever the case may be. I, it's, it's a lot going on. Like, I don't understand, like, wh like what the situation. The Jonesboro house, I don't know if it's been lost to foreclosure also, C. Patterson, or if the house that you're speaking of is Tiny's house. The house I'm speaking of is Tiny's house. The house that he was in, I'm thinking, I don't recall that it was being foreclosed. I it was about to be foreclosed, but I know that they wanted to fix it up and sell it. Um, it's a lot going on. It's just a whole lot going on. So, you know, I, I got that little tea. Um, again, it was word of, it, people were calling me, asking me questions because, uh, you know, I see stuff and I don't necessarily like to talk about it a lot of times, but I'm like, shit, once it hit the blogs, I'll talk about it too, even though I didn't write it on straight from the A.com yet, yet. Uh, shout out to Sandra Rose, <laughs> shout out to Sandra Rose who, you know, again, we was chit-chatting about it. You know, she know a little bit. I know a little bit. We know a little bit together. And I was like, uh, what you know? How you, what, what? I mean, but what's going on? Why she in that cut? And why T.I. got it on his Instagrams that, um, you know, she don't live, like, I don't know why he got what she lives on the Instagram. I don't understand. So, Sandra Rose wrote, uh, on SandraRose.com. <laughs> oh, she gave me a little shout out. According to celebrity blogger Mich uh, Michelle, straight from the A.com, uh, the six bedroom, seven bath mansion with enough garage space for four, for four cars was foreclosed on and sold on a courthouse steps shortly after her estranged husband, Clifford Harris Jr., aka T.I., was arrested for attempting to gain entry into her subdivision. Tamika purchased the mansion, as I said previously, for $1.4 million in 2014. Um, the mother of five reportedly now lives in a luxury high-rise on Peachtree Street, where T.I. recorded a video delivering a used Mercedes-Benz S550 that he gifted Tamika for her birthday this past weekend. Friends say T.I. gifted Tamika the car and recorded himself doing it to boost his own public image. Those are Sandra's words, not mine. Uh, friends wonder why T.I. didn't use that money to pay for her mortgage. I said that! I said that. Like, I really want to know, like, how you going to let your wife's house fork? Well, your estranged wife, nonetheless, she's still the mother of your kids. Um, friends say gifted T.I. Um, gifted Tamika the car because she didn't have transportation after the foreclosure. Ooh, I didn't hear that, Sandra. Pray to, what, what else? But whenever T.I. feels like he's losing power over her, he cuts her off financially. Whew, that was what the Atlanta streets saying. Tamika reportedly moved into the building with her toddler, Harris Harris. Tamika's other children reside with her mother, Diane Polk Cottle, in southwest Atlanta. Ooh, Sandra spilling even more tea. According to the Henry County website, Tamika's mansion went into foreclosure in February. The mansion was sold on the courthouse steps in May. Um... And yeah, and she directed people over here for me to tell you the rest. I appreciate Sandra. If you don't, if you haven't visited, look at Sandra Rose's post. Look at my post of the party from Friday night. You can put all the pieces together yourself, which is what a good blogger, journalist, media professional like myself does. Um, and the squad. Shout out to the squad because I ain't... Let me tell you one thing. What I'm not doing is perusing the 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 foreclosure paperwork looking for celebrity names. That's what I'm not gonna do. But when it falls into my laps, <laughs> into my laps, when it when it falls into my laps, what I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to not talk talk blah, 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 not talk about it? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Not talk about it? Am I being messy for telling y'all what uh the AJC is gonna tell y'all about next week? After they find out about it, this, like, the foreclosure occurred in May. We are in July 16th. So, apparently, somebody going to talk about it eventually. It may, well, it, it may as well be me. So, I just wanted to come on and, you know, give y'all that little bit of tea. 
you know, I'm sure on the YouTubes, it's going to be, you know, people going to be talking about it, acting like they didn't hear it from straight from the A first. But the squad knows. The people knows. And, um, yeah, by the way, some other YouTube blog been stealing my stuff, child. I put my little um, Queen Latifah stuff over on the ATL channel. Now, all of a sudden, it's on some other channel. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's what people do. They steal your stuff. Don't even tell you where they get it from. But that's okay. Shout out to Sandra Rose for crediting crediting me uh shout out to the squad for dropping all the tea the hot tea if you not if you aren't already on the a squad group go into facebook.com search a squad and you can join the a squad group uh what i what we don't accept in the a squad group are trolls it's got to be real squad members so uh zeals the, the the famous Zills checks y'all out. You know, he, he checks out y'all credentials and everything before he lets y'all in the group. And we in the group chilling, spilling tea. Ain't that right, outspoken one? <laughs> so if y'all want to talk about it, we can talk about it. I got a little bit of time. I got a little bit of time. Let me see. It's 1.50. I got about 20 minutes before I have to write up stuff. Y'all want to talk about it? Do y'all want to... Do y'all want to share your input on the situation? You know what? I'm not going to even ask. I'm just going to do it. Hold on. Let me find my conference call. Let me find the conference call. Ooh. Now I got to find a... Hold on. Oh, thank you, Mankey. Thank you so much. Um, the phone number is 347-514-7350, and the PIN number is 429-8651. If someone would please repost that for me, I would definitely appreciate it. 347-514-7350. Please enter your PIN number. And the PIN number, 429-8651. Thank you. Joining the conference now. You are currently the only person in this conference. What am I typing, girl? What am I typing? 347 514 Three four seven five one four seven three five zero pin number four two nine eight six five one. If y'all would share that, uh, caller twelve sixty eight. Ooh, my bun falling. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. Who am I speaking with? I just want to say, uh, hi, this is Mel calling from California. Hey, Mel. I just want to say, now would be the time for Floyd Mayweather to show up and come to the rescue. Wouldn't that be some drama? <laughs> that would. Floyd need to buy Tanya a house. <laughs> Yes, he needs to buy her a house. We done crafted this this lady whole fairy tale life now. You know, Floyd ain't buying nobody no damn house, child. He might buy him some Louboutins and might buy him a little diamond bracelet every now and then, but I don't know. So you know, see, I think he wants some drama. That would be some real good drama for him. For him, that would be some real good. Anyway, <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to say. Uh -huh. that, that, that's really something else. Yeah. That is something else. That's my point. Like, a car? Really, do A car? Is that what you think of me? <laughs> That's what I'd be like, really? But, okay, you got you to you you show. But, you know, I never thought about, until you said it, um, how he wants to have all this control over her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we know that T, T, like, I got yeah. the short man syndrome. He is a little powerful <laughs> little man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, he's, he's an outspoken right. big person. You know, big little person. 
you know, he is what it is. Like he's right, great. He's right. entertaining. He's smart. He's all of that. But when it comes to his relationships, he's in control. It is what, you know. Right. So. Yeah, I get it. Well, thank you so okay, much. Okay. Well, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Caller 7865. Hey, Michelle. What's going on? This is Gerald from North Carolina. What up, Gerald? Listen, what's up, Michelle? Michelle, I told you last time I called in that Tiny didn't have no money. I told you she didn't have no money. You don't know what Let that lady have. You don't know what Let that lady got. Listen, that lady got no money because she if she had money, her house would be foreclosed. That's for that's for sure right there. Well, maybe but maybe I think she didn't want to pay is, for that house if she knew she could continue to pay for it. That doesn't mean she doesn't have money. Sometimes you know you're living above your means. And you're going to move out to something that you can afford comfortably. Well, she should, well, what she should have did was she should have moved into the high rise the first time. But I think that she don't want to move back with, with Tia. I think that she rather go low and fall and, and, and struggle without having to be under his, you know, under his power and then under his, you know, rules and in his house and stuff like that. I mean, but like you said, you know, why you going to get this girl a Mercedes Benz? Knowing that her house on full clothes and, you know, because at first when I saw the video, I thought they was walking out of a, me a meeting or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, you know, until so you said that it was actually her apartment or, you know, high rise or condo she coming Go out of. Go watch the video and, like, again. The it says it right behind her. And I'm like, oh, he being messy. He didn't put the, lady, <laughs> the name of the way, where the lady lived right behind the car. Like. Right. Why and, you know, like the, uh, like but the I feel like he said, did that. You know, he did that for a reason too. Like celebrities yeah. don't show you where they live. Period. They don't show mm -hmm. you where their friends live. Period. If it was her friend's right, house, right, her right. daughter house, you would not know. But he got the name of right. the, the damn building behind her on mm -hmm. on the Instagrams. Intentional. Right. So now it's like either she gonna be forced to like get some security or forced to move. So I just like right. the foreclosure, forced to move. So where is she gonna be forced to move to? Back to Jonesboro to the family hustle house with him. Right. I mean, this just a thought. Right. I don't know. That's just what I see. I mean, but my and she taking little Harris through all of that. That don't make no sense. They humiliate these children. Why taking? Why y'all taking these kids through all of this? You humiliate them with this marriage stuff now. You know, you got these bloggers out here like Michelle and put the, all the business out here on the streets. But the fuck, these people just humiliate them too. Why don't you get these children? I'm like, Kaya, man, what, what's wrong with these children? Get these children so we hey, leave the children out of this stuff. Yeah, but, see Michelle, the children. I, but something. the bloggers didn't put the tea out there. The I, damn bank I, I know, Michelle. I'm just messing with you, Michelle. Michelle, I'm just messing with you, Michelle. <laughs> But look, I don't think nobody do it so y'all came on the scene to be honest. <laughs> they were trying to play that thing off. But anyway, let me say this. I, wh wh where is Candy at? Where is her friends? You, she, wait, she, she let, let, okay, let's friends. stop this right now, Gerald. Let's stop this right now. Let's stop this right now. Your friend can loan you a little bit of money, but what friend you know going gonna to get you? Like, uh, Candy got a man, Tiny got a man too. I ain't gonna get no woman who got no man, no money. That's your man's job. Like if and if you're choosing to stay with him, that's different. Tiny ain't trying to go nowhere. Tiny ain't doing nothing, and I don't feel like she should but expect. But you my friend, I don't feel like as a rich friend should be uh, expected to chip in on her friend's lifestyle. She got Candy got family. She got to take care of her mamas, her aunts, her cousins. At the end of the day, like your friends are not obligated to pay your bills, and I've been there with other friends who feel like I'm I'm the bank. So, no, that's not fair. That's not fair to Candy. I mean, I feel like that. If your friend know your man ain't doing nothing, I mean, I, let me tell you something. In my down days, I went to my friends and say, hey, can you help me with something? And and, and, and they have helped me. You know what I'm saying? And I but, feel like even with the little that they had, even if they were billionaires and I is, went to them. one thing. They help, help is one well. thing. Candy, if you notice, Candy has been on tour with Escape when she... Pretty much shrug right. them off. That's help. That's help. Let's go make this money. That's help. I help you make your own money, but I ain't giving you none of mine. Right. Right. Because I swear she was on. Uh, she was on Instagram talking about this escape money falling all on us and stuff like that. But your house foreclosed. But I escape just don't, money I just is one thing. It. I mean, you know, appearances and bookings is one yeah. thing. That's not. 
they ain't getting rich. Escape ain't Beyonce. They ain't getting those kind of bookings, even though yeah. Beyonce concert True. in Paris was halfway, at, you know, empty. But that's a whole other story. She still right. got paid. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I just wish I wish her, I wish her the best. I mean, I want if I, I like that last caller said, Floyd Mayweather come on to the rescue. At the end of the day, we talked about this. Come when you want him. We talked about this you the know, other day. But, they put too much shit on social media. Period. They put too much <laughs> shit. If they had honestly, they put too much on social media. If Ti yeah. wouldn't have been so you know braggadocious and posted how he right. gave gifted her this car. We wouldn't have never saw that she was living in the condo and the damn squad wouldn't have never got the right. itch to look it up and see if she still got her house. Like, it wouldn't have been none of that. Right. Like, we didn't have to know nothing. We ain't got to know nothing. If he gave her yeah. a gift, he gave her a gift. He ain't have to promote it online. He ain't have to say jack shit. Even if he promoted right. the dude that he bought the car from. That's one thing. But you ain't got to do all that. Right. Now, everybody looking like, well, damn, it's all a lie. It's all like you put on right. social media. So we being social. We being social right now right, and we right, picking right. it all apart. It is what it is. That's what social right, media right. is. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for calling, Michelle. No, thank you for calling. <laughs> thank you, Gerald. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Caller 9155, you're on the line. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Who am I speaking with? Huh. Hi, this is Tamara. Hey, Tamara. What do you think? Hey, I just wanted to find out from you, do you have, you had any interactions with Tiny yourself? What kind of person is she? Tiny's, Why would she take this? I've had interactions with both of them. I mean, I don't have interactions with their relationship, but... I've been in parties where T.I. showed up and yanked Tiny out the door because maybe she was there too late. I've been there. I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, but I know Tiny is sweet. She's a sweet woman. She's a nice person. So, I mean, she, she maybe she's chosen to be the submissive one in the relationship. It's it's okay to be that. And that, you know, and our girls talked the other night when we talked about it. It's like, we don't know the inner workings of their relationship. We don't know what their agreement right. is. We don't know what that is. If she's okay with it, why the hell is we mad? But the, the stuff that they put online and the, the, the showing off and the doing this for the people, there there's a difference. It's like, oh, now we're going to look and be like, well, well shit, if you're going to buy her a house, why you didn't pay her mortgage? Why she lost her house? Why she so, yeah, it's I feel like to question that aspect is one thing. But to question why they together, I'm never going to do that because... That's that's their choice. Okay, yeah, because it all appears to be about control. The whole thing appears to be about some type of control that he's trying to exert over her. Mm -hmm. And I just feel so bad for her because she seems like she's such a sweet and genuine person. And for some reason, I don't know why we even like him, just don't like them together because it just seems like she's too weak to stand up to him. But... And I, I mean, see if she likes it, and, and, we can't and, do anything but love it. Yeah, and and you know, my thing is, I'm not gonna feel bad for her if if she doesn't seem to feel bad for herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know yeah. what's going on again, but at the end of the day, if she happy, if she if 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 she living life, you know, her best life and whatever that is to her, I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna feel sorry for. Her. I mean, you know, some people have to go through what they go through in order to learn their lessons or in order to find out what their true path is maybe her maybe she feels like you know i'm married i'm gonna stay with my husband through you know good and bad forever you know for better or worse everything so we can't judge her on that they're married so i mean yeah that's all we can do yeah that's all we can do yeah is, is all right thanks michelle the outside and i'll keep watching it because they keep giving it to us to watch ain't nobody digging it up yeah. they're giving it to us they send it on the line every day. So. Yes, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Caller 8301. I'm Michelle. This Hi. is Shay. Hey, uh, Shay. Florida, Georgia. How are you? Hey, Hi. I'm good. How are you, Shay? I'm doing good. But when it comes to Tiny, I feel like. Um, she needs some of that good good. <laughs> I think that 
once he finds a guy that is really laying it down, I mean, like, better than whatever Tip is giving her. Tip who? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That. I don't know if Dick gonna be better than a whole like you know um, money, cars, bank accounts, children. It's just Dick. You get Dick. She could have that good good on Friday and still be with Tip on Saturday. So I. I but uh, but the thing. But I agree to a certain de to a certain degree. But I think clearly you can see in her face that the money in the cars ain't it no more. And I think that she's fine. I think that you know. She financially, for real, whether or not the house is foreclosed or whatever kind of car she got, for real, she's okay with all that. Mm -hmm. Tiny's an older lady now. She's not no little young girl trying to become some some celebrity or all that. She's got that. She's going to always have celebrity. That's just what it is for her. Mm -hmm. I think she understands that. I think that their relationship at first, it probably was all fun and games at first because he was jealous. Ooh, that's so cute. He loves me. I think it was all fun and games. And I think that now she's an older woman. And she wants to be a woman. Like, you know, she wants to feel confident in her relationship. I think it is to the point where it's like, F the money. Even when she goes up and say, oh, well, thank you for getting me the car. It's like, wah, wah, wah. I'm sure it is to her. Yeah. But I know that she would probably want a man, whether it be, I think she's getting to that point. Because you can see it in her face that it's just like, okay, yeah, you're doing all this on media, on social media. But at the same time, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. But I think that if a guy... For real, coming from a genuine place where she gets in his presence and she can feel his vibe right in his spirit and mm -hmm. know that he thinks that she is just a fly girl, beautiful. He appreciates her. He just takes care of her. I really do think that T.I. can fade, will, will, will fade away because I think that at this point in time, that is what she is desiring. And if a guy knows how to do it and he really falls for Tiny, I think Tiny is done with his ass. Well, I mean, you know, that would be the fairy tale version of the story, but you know, I, I, you know, right? We all want that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all looking yes. for for that one guy to do all of that to make us feel all of that. Who won't come with no drama, no trouble, no jump offs, no extraneous drama, and you know that pays our bills on time and don't let our houses foreclose. And you know, yeah, we all want that. <laughs> so. I don't know. You, I'm just so when you think of, for Tiny. Even with Tiny now, though, even even when it comes to, because I think that the point of it all. Hello. Did I lose you? 8301? 8301, did your phone go dead? I'm going to put on hold for a second until she come back. 4580, you're on the line. Hello? Is it my phone? Hello? Let me see what's going on. Hold on. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I dropped my phone. Please enter your PIN number. Thank you. Joining the conference now. I don't know what happened, but I'm here. You here? Hold on, Hello? hold on, hold on, just a second. Carla, you still here? Hello? You're the first caller. Well, maybe you're the next caller. Hey, <laughs> I think the call dropped from the other call. I was just trying to figure out what happened. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Hey, Michelle, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is uh, Kim from Chicago, a.k.a. Kim Lynn in the chat. Hey, Kim Lynn. Squad member. Hey. Squad member. What's up, girl? Trying to get this. Hello, how you doing? Um, hold on just a second. I'm trying to get this Bluetooth back on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's saying I'm connected. I can't be. Hold on. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Come on. 
Okay. I'm just going to leave it on speaker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love that picture behind you. I just love it, love it, love it. It's so cute behind you. Hello? Wait, 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 wait. Uh -oh. I got too many people on the line. Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. This is, this is Kim. I don't know what happened. Oh, somebody else. Okay. I got you. Kim. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have me? Yes. I got you, Kim. I'm sorry. Hold on, other caller. <laughs> No, while I was messing with the Bluetooth, somebody snuck in. I said, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, how are you tuning in? What do you think about this situation, honey? Oh, my God. It's so messy, Michelle. Hot mess, hot mess. Um, I mean, the, the thing is, I think that the biggest problem is, is that what you were saying earlier, uh, T.I. and Tiny need to keep their personal business off of social media. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why these people think that they got to play everything out and put out all their business out on front street. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, that's it's what, so, I feel they like social to, media. They need to stop doing that. It's okay to put some stuff, but that's just crazy. Yeah, but I feel like with social media, people try to craft what they want you to see. And so with everything, everybody's been called T.I. a cheetah. Everybody's been like on his back. And so I feel like, you know, him bringing his car, showing his grand gesture and saying, you know, whatever y'all think of me, I ride for mine. And that was his goal to, to make himself look better. I don't think it had nothing to do with giving her no car. But that's in my opinion. Well, what they need to do is have a yard sale. And what they need to do is sell that Mercedes Benz. And what they need to do is get a financial planner. Since they like putting their business out on the street, then sell, sell your assets, some of your assets, and sell that car. Hmm. And have a yard sale. And go to a financial expert and planner and get their budget together. Because that, they need to spend time doing that instead of putting their business uh, out for everybody to see, and maybe they can get some get their act together because it's ridiculous. They too old to be doing what they doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not like some you know like some kids just start now. It's one thing, but they've been around enough to know better. You know, so they 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 need to really you know get themselves in check. But yeah, they need to have a yard job. I'll buy something. I'll come out there and buy something from them. <laughs> not a yard sale. <laughs> Well, I mean, again, I you know, my thing is with them, they're going to be together, they're going to be together. But the only thing we could do yeah. is just go by what they show us. And they show us this every day. They show, you know, we see T.I. with this woman and that woman. We see all of that. And then we see him trying to make up. It's like they give us every step of the way for us to, like, chime in and, and you know, talk about what's going on. But... The only thing I can do is watch. And I'm on the outside looking in. Like, I, you know, I don't have no Mercedes convertible. <laughs> so, you know, it's all but, good. But I, bet you, but I bet you're not going into foreclosure either, though. Uh, no, I'm not. Not yet. Not going to do it. So you got, that means you got to get your priorities straight. Mm hmm You do. You do. You know what I'm saying? You do. <laughs> I agree. So is it more important for you to be showing off and showing who you, you know, you, that you can get sad chicks? And it's showing that, you know, going back and forth like that. Or is it more important to get your bills paid so you have a roof over your head? What's more important? That's true. I'm with you. You know, so keep putting your business out there and you keep, be careful what you ask for, what you put out in the street. Exactly. Exactly. By you showing out, showing off and showing out, then that come back to, to come back and bite you in the ass. It will. It will. Well, I appreciate your call. <laughs> I definitely do. Okay, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye bye. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Ooh. Caller 3050. Hi there. Hi. This is Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm good. Where are you calling from? I'm actually calling from Los Angeles. I should be working, but I, I, I get the luxury from working from home because I am a business owner. But yes. I'm watching this and I just could Okay. Like <laughs> I should be working too, but I'm on here gossiping with y'all. I should be working. I know, but you know, this is just such a refreshing break. And yeah. the reason why I'm laughing is that I'm just going to put it out there. She needed to be driving off in a Hyundai, okay? Because this Mercedes mm -hmm. makes no sense mm -hmm. for someone who clearly doesn't have any money. Neither one of them have any money. <sighs> And this is just the issue 
that keeps being presented to us all Mm -hmm. by these fake lives that they portray on social media. I do believe what the last caller said. They do need to work with their finances. And they have to work with their finances together because they brought children in this world. Mm -hmm. So this is a message to everyone listening. These are some different times we're living in. So you have to take responsibility. And they're not. These are not responsible people. So you just have to take responsibility for what you are creating and do better today. She lost a lot of stuff yesterday, okay? But she still can do better today. By planning, you need a plan for your future. And since they have children together, they're going to be in each other's lives regardless. So I'd rather have the two of them stay together so their foolishness does not impact innocent folks like you and I. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Well, like, I mean, stay together and work that mess out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I don't see them party any, anytime soon. We talked about this last night. How you know some men, mm-hmm. you know, are just gonna be wild. Like the couples who we see to get, that have been together for sixty years, we don't know what they went through the first twenty. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's okay. always okay. all couples go through something. Theirs is just a little bit more public than ours and the other people out there. Like like I always say, it's women out there who have who. who are going through it right now and taking them back for less, you know. So you we can't you Correct. can't and fall in judgment of anybody else's relationship. One of the issues that we have is that a lot of things out out of our mouths as women, the first thing, oh leave, leave. I I don't think that that's always the best answer. Mm-hmm. I don't, especially mm-hmm. when there's children involved. It takes responsibility in education. Right. And clearly the two of them are not responsible, but they have to get responsible. Right. So they're and, in it for the long haul because of the children. Right. So, I mean, it don't matter. She can stay or she can go, but I personally don't think that the answer for her is leaving him because clearly there is a need for each other to still be attached to one another. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's just my, my They've been together damn near 20 years. I, mean, I, I don't give see people in this time. day in life, I, my goal, because I am responsible, I want to give people responsible solutions. And it's like, I don't think in their case, the best answer for her is to completely cut him out. She, she won't survive. Yeah. But they do have to be smart enough to figure out a plan. Mm-hmm. Like the other lady said, they need a plan on how they're going to make it work moving right. forward. Right. Right. Which, which number two financial planning number one number two stay off social media yeah and I think all of their we errors need, is, we is, don't need to know all their business we right right and we, I think all of their errors and missteps <laughs> I think all of their errors and missteps is what really is going to make each one of them a better person I mean that's that's for anybody you know anything exactly. that you do exactly. that that you know exactly. causes conflict or whatever it makes you think about it the next time how am I going to handle it differently or what can I do to make this situation or my situation better so whatever the case mm-hmm. may be I feel like you know they both they'll be all right I just you know I just bring it to y'all because it's just a, a topic to talk about that just relates to everybody's situation, not just Ti and Tiny. Like I say, it's women out there right now going through the same thing for less. He he came and brought you lunch today, and he you took him back. <laughs> so. Exactly, and whether you're in that predicament or not, all of us what we can benefit from is having a plan, having right. some goals, definitely, and a backup plan. Definitely. Because stuff always happens. Definitely. You gotta have a backup plan. A backup to the backup and that's plan. Much <laughs> Definitely. Thank have you. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. you asking me about the foreclosure. We didn't talked about that foreclosure five times. You need to rewind to the beginning of the video. Thank you very much. I am not going to repeat it, but you know she apparently lost her house. Thank you very much. We're talking to the people right now. Callers, nineteen sixty four. You're on the line. <laughs> Oh, hi. As I was saying, I love that picture behind you. It's oh, just thank awesome. You. Thank you. So, did I cut but you off? Want, oh, I yeah, to, I did. Okay, I'm sorry. I wanted to say that I was the person that worked it out being my husband, and I we are divorced now. We both was mismanagers mm-hmm. of our money. Both of us were. Mm-hmm. And... And you do that when you're young. And by the time 
time you get old, you realize that you don't mismanage all your money. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, when you're on a budget, your budget is going to force you to do things differently. Right. Uh, and it works out pretty good. Uh, for me, uh, I was worth making over $100,000. Now I'm learning to budget uh Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! And it worked out pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Mean, I don't want. I don't have the lifestyle that I used to have, you know, because I lived in Dunwoody, Georgia. Now I live in Atlanta, Georgia. But you know, mm -hmm. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if both guys stand together, I don't. I don't think I did the same thing. I stayed together with my husband for a long time because of the children. That's not a good reason anymore to stay with a man. Uh, it, it could be very toxic. And I think that uh, she should go her way and he should go his way. And and try to work it out from that way. Yeah. As parents. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I just don't think they're ever going to be apart. But, you know, I agree. You know, like I said, in, in, in a fairy tale situation... You know, they would go, well, she would go her way, he would go his. But my thing is, you got to go through whatever you need to go through to get the way you're supposed to be. Whether that means be together together as a couple or be apart and be able to manage these kids. So whatever they're going through now is just their journey. So, you know, props to it them is. It, doing it. It is. It is. It is. Well, thank you so much for calling. I appreciate you. Well, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Sorry, y'all, about the car. I was transferring it back to the speaker. I don't know what was going on with my phone and the speaker, but we back on the speaker now. Is it too loud? Are we good? Can you hear me? I turned it down. Caller 8105. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Michelle. This is Day Silva. I've been watching you for a while, and I don't normally say too much, but I thought I would call in... Um. I'm a little bit older, and um, I just thought I would call in and give my opinion. I just wish the ladies would look out for themselves more, whether they're married or not. And um, I'm married, but I make sure that um, even though my husband pays bills and all of that, that I have my own nest egg mm -hmm. just in case. Yeah. And I think one of the things that women tend to do is we because you fall in love and you know, you think you have your dream marriage or relationship, you put everything that you have, your trust and everything into that person and you don't look out for yourself. Not saying don't trust the person. Right. But it just seems like to me, all these years they've been together, he's shown her the same thing over and over again. I, I'm, I agree with you. I don't think she's ever going to leave him. Mm -hmm. But she could plan, you know, to have a nest egg just in case for when things like that happen, she will be okay. Right. Because who's to say some young, new, you know, chick not going to come along, and he decides to leave. Right. You know, you never know what the men are going to do. <laughs> you know, the women tend to stay, but a lot of times the men, you know, they want to upgrade to something younger and better, and, you know, so I just think it's foolish of women, you know, and I just, I just hope all the women listening will take heed to what they see that's going on, because I have an aunt that did the same thing, and she has to stay with her husband. She quit. Her job, she was making very good money years ago, wow. and he's been cheating on her now for like 40 years. 40 and years. she has no choice now. She has no Social Security. She has no savings. He, you know, he makes pretty good money. He was in the military. Then he started his own business, and she is solely dependent on him. And, yes, she could get Social Security, but could she really live off of the percentage that she gets from his Social Security? Wow. You know, it's just foolish when, you know, we tend to do these things and just depend on men for everything thinking especially you know thinking that they're never going to leave or we have to stay because of that especially when he's shown her over and over and over again that he's not trustworthy right so I, that's all i wanted to say i think it's just a shame you know and i i feel for her to a certain degree and then again it's like i don't because you're showing your kids i mean what are you teaching your daughters right right and that's the main you know? thing. That's the, but again, yeah. like, and then I, 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 I think about it, and then I say, but that's us judging what we see. That's us judging what they give yeah. us. We don't know. We don't know what the situation is with their family. We don't know what they agree like. But there is something. There is something going on that we got to sit here and go, well, why is he grandstanding with this car? Which 
to her house got foreclosed or why is this and why is that but yeah, I, I totally agree with a lot of what you said it just doesn't make sense I mean like you said we don't know everything but when we see that the kids are getting upset because he put that out there and right. then she's responding to certain things and then you know we see her responding to it if there's some type of agreement that they have, then why, you know, put your business in social media? And now the kids are getting older. His sons are getting upset with him. Right. So it's just messy all the way around, right. you know. But he's giving her calls, and he just read when he bought some property to build up the community. Well, you need to be looking out for your family first before you out here buying whatever property or Again, whatever. Again, why her house get foreclosed? The house that's in her name got foreclosed. Well, I mean, for what? Exactly. I, I, my, That's what I'm she saying. She could have did a so short sale. She could have sold it. Like, real estate in Atlanta yeah. is hot right now. You don't let your shit foreclose. You sell it first and get your little profit, whatever those coins are. Like, why would you let give it back to the bank? That makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes no sense. I had My sister had a friend that came down to Atlanta probably about five years ago. And she went down there with a job. She wasn't making, you know, a whole lot. But she got herself a really nice house. And she stayed down there. Because she said the cost of living, I'm in Maryland, mm -hmm. and she said the cost of living there compared to here was so much lower, you know, that she, mm -hmm. she's doing really well now. And so she's not no celebrity that has all these different venues, you know, or ways of making money. So I just, I don't understand, you know, I just don't understand what's going on with Tiny, you know, because a lot of times we're being told that if the fathers are in the home, it makes a big difference. Well, that's not always the case. You know, if you don't have self-esteem and if you not going to stand up for yourself even if your father has been in the home that doesn't dictate you know how you know the women will turn out later in life you know so right. it's just it's just a shame to, to see all of this stuff coming out you know right. and especially always without people i just i just hate seeing this kind of stuff i agree i agree but um I, again, so, they, got, they got the they got the talent and the means to 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 survive so i mean that's yeah, clear yeah. so you know, props to them. But I appreciate your call. Thank you. <laughs> and you're doing a great job, Michelle. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll be waiting to see that notification so I can get online. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Bye -bye. Okay. You have a good one. You Bye -bye. too. Thank you. Caller 3400, you're on the line. I guess that's me. Is that you, smoothie lady? Yes. Yeah. Michelle, you look after. I'm going to start this first and say that you look beautiful i love your braids oh, you. and we are supposed to esteem one another higher than we do each other you look awesome and i love the pictures in the back i don't know if they're for sale or not yeah. i guess <laughs> i'll stick a pen in that and just and just look, get you i'm not having no yard sale yet i'll let y'all know when i do <laughs> please do i love it especially the one with the fedora hat in uh -huh. the back Oh yeah, um, an artist did that for me at Disney World. That's me. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's majorly had. I want to thank you so much for for answering my call, and just also to say that you know, I mean, I know what we feel that we know what's put out in the public be, uh, because of these celebrities, mm -hmm. but behind closed doors, we don't we don't totally know. Honestly, I feel Michelle that. EI, that tip, and and also Tiny, th their love for one another is never going to end. Mm -hmm. I feel that that runs extremely deep because of their children and because of time. Right. Not only that, us just as a community, we just need to stop paying attention to things that are menial. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out there doing their thing, Michelle. They they're out there their hard body with their families, like the, um, the, Americ the Indian Americans are with them. They're, when you go to a Dunkin' Donuts, you, who do you see in there? You see their entire family in that joint. Yeah. We are not in there. When we go to the hair store. And so, so you, you know. Taking us to where we need to start supporting the black family units more. Yes, ab ab absolutely. Together, absolutely, and but it's but it's hard because we don't trust one another. Right. Um, I'm not talking about you personally. I'm just talking about us as you know a community. Right. I get it. I get it. 
Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't trust one another. And then when we do, you know, um, accost each other's business, we feel that we need a discount just because I'm this and that. No, give that man his money, his just due. Give him, give that woman his uh, her money. You know, she may have went through the fire to do to do this and to, to do that to get where she is. Right. And I'm I will be saying stick a pen in a few things because I have uh, have a lot to say as as long as you would allow me to. Okay. I know this is your platform, and I don't want to disrespect. Um, my name is Teresa. Yes, I'm called Smoothie Girl. I'm born and raised in Connecticut, and I live here down in Atlanta, and it hasn't been the easiest. I've been evicted more than a few times, but I, I fell down, and then I got up, and then I fell down. I had success, then I didn't have success. But it Are was through those times, though. Say that again, hun. Are you an entrepreneur? Uh, yes, I I work from home. Uh, I work for two major companies, and I guess at another time that we can we can talk from that. The reason why I opt to work from home is because of the influx of people that's going to be coming into Atlanta, <laughs> and I don't want to commute anymore. I don't want to commute far away. I want to wake up with my coffee cup or what, if I'm drinking tea in my bathrobe and put my headset on and get in there on human resources if that's, you know, the time of day that I have to do that or into a sales position. And we have to look further to the to the future. Right. Um, people are just sliding all the way over us, and it's saddening. It's honestly, it's saddening we to me. We talked about this before, I, and I feel like I'm a victim of it as well because, you know, we talked about it while I was in my shoe room. At some point, us as black people, we're not taught how to manage money because our families never had right. money. The people before them never had money. And by the time we have money, we don't know to go to an accountant. We don't know how to manage it. We don't know, especially if we're an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, how much taxes we supposed to pay. We don't know that. So it's 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 easy for us to become victims of of having money and losing money. But that being said, it's also important for us to 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 talk about it and 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 school other people once we have gone through that situation of losing money and now we have it back and you should be smarter with your money. You shouldn't go and and spend all this money on red bottoms and purses just because you see people. All right, on those people don't even know us, so, Michelle. They don't. Yeah, they don't it. know us. They can care less about us, boo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get it. And they don't teach that in the schools. I wish it. that I was. I haven't learned the hard way, um, Michelle, um, about how to uh, manage a checkbook and things of that nature because my parents did not totally know about it. Their parents didn't know totally about it, right. and I don't want it to be an evolutionary thing. Where you know I'm passing that down to my son. He's he's 20 now. I have one son. He's uh, at Kennesaw State, but they didn't teach him that in school. Mm -hmm. They didn't teach me that in school. Right. Now, had I known about that, I probably okay. Yawn. All right. Sorry, Penny. That is boring you, but I just need to get this out. But honestly, these are things, poignant things that needed to be taught in school. And see, when somebody says yawn, because, you know, light can't resonate with dark. Of course, it's yawn to this person, because you don't want to hear some knowledge or an opinion about somebody else. We are, are about the movement of our community. Let's not read uh, the comments. We have to, we have to go hard body in it, Michelle, for real. No, I get it. And, and let our children know, this is how you balance a, 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 balance a budget. This is how you do this. And, and we're, it's not happening in school. Right, right. Well, I mean, it's up, and to, it's up to us. I don't feel like it's supposed to happen. I think maybe it's supposed to um, happen at home because but, my son is stingy. But that's the point. It, st <laughs> it starts with us as individuals. It starts with us to tell people to bank black. It starts with us to tell people, look, I had money, I bought all this stuff, but I'm I was dumb when I did it. Don't be like me. It's up to us to do that. So I mean I, I, I see so many 
you know, up and coming teens, you know, looking up to all these celebs, you know, buying cars while the house is foreclosed and all of that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, it's up to us, the parents, the people around them, the YouTube community, anybody who can get to these people to actually show them that that's not exactly what you need to do. Like, it's okay to splurge every now and again, but at the end of the day, you need to be saving because in, in, in two years and three years and five years, the same money you splurge and now maybe be the money you need, you know, that you looking for, like, where'd it go? I splurged you know what, on you know, this car. All of that's that replaceable. Mm -hmm. All of that is all of that is replaceable mm -hmm. things. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. tangible things. I'd rather splurge on a house than splurge on a car. I'd rather have have had him play, you know, and this is still, you know, keeping with the subject. I'd rather have had him pay whatever money he paid on the lease or the purchase or whatever the case may be towards the mortgage like why would you let a house foreclose that is that is money in the bank like they don't make more land they make more cars every day so you know yeah. i just i just watch it and talk about it and i feel like you know the communication us talking about it, it will create more awareness and other people may want to dig in and learn and do things a different way that's all so have Still you so looked have you topic, seen topic so okay. I gotta change it. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I don't wanna keep you so we long but talk about I mean, finances on another so, day. Have, but I appreciate your call. Okay. All right, not a problem. Take care, sister. All right, you too. Bye bye. All righty. Caller sixteen oh eight. Thank you, Smoothie Girl. I appreciate you. Caller sixteen oh eight. Hi, can you hear me, Yes, sir? yes. Who am I speaking with? Melanie, I am uh, Melanie. This is the first, my first time calling, and I'm a, a a new viewer, so I am so excited to be um, talking with you. Oh, so excited to be talking with you. Thank you so much. For that. Like real deal. Like like I'm I'm gonna write this down today. Like some, how to a celebrity. That's what I'm put out in my journal. <laughs> anyway, moving <laughs> moving forward. You know when we when you initially started talking about um, the TI situation and us allowing. Uh, um, the people to see were tiny stage. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was you or the guy that you were on the phone with, but one of you all made a point to, to say that um, you believe that he did that for a per uh, for a reason. Yes. And and I'm I'm thinking, control. listen, I'm sure I'm like I'm like exactly because my opinion. I believe he's doing it to prove to somebody that I'm not sleeping in the same bed with her, and you know she's here, I'm there. Now that's just me. I'm not saying that that's necessarily why he did that, but you know what? Like you said, why why would you go that far mm -hmm. to show this girl live? Now she's gonna have to maybe be subjected to having a uh, higher security or you know relocate. But it, you know, who, who, what are you trying to prove? Right. What and to whom are you trying to prove? That's so, true. um. And I said that to say this, um, people, uh, the lady that was that called prior to this last lady, you know, we were talking about leaving and we stay in situations. And, and I know, you know, we, we all do that. These are celebrities at the end of the day behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. They just, we, they put their pants on just like us. They, they're you know, they beings. cry, they hurt, they, they, make they, mistakes. they do everything. Yes. They're human. They're human beings. And so with that being said, a lot of times we will stay stick with things that are familiar to us even when it's hurting us, when it's killing us. We, we'll stay just because that's what's familiar and or I'm afraid to, you know, go um, and find myself and lead this, uh, lead this man or whoever, you know, where he is. Right. Last thing, and I'm going to hang up, I'm not going to be long. <clears throat> I live right outside of Memphis. I live right outside of Memphis, right oh. in between. My, the town I stay in is right in between Fourth City where T.I. was locked up. And Memphis, so literally like a ten, maybe a fifteen minute drive wow. in both directions. At any given time, we would see Tanya downtown Memphis eating. It, you know, it may be during the week or just her times when she would go and um, visit him. Uh -huh. And um, when I say, you know, she just a sweet, genuine person. She was real down to earth. You know, it would be times this girl having a baseball cap. You know, you could tell she she was tired. As, as a matter. of Back, Michelle. It was one uh, particular time because I mean I don't I can't remember how long Ti was locked up, but like I said, her flight she would have to catch her flight out of Memphis and then drive to Fort City, which would be like a forty five minute drive, you know, from Memphis to where he was locked up at. But anyway, um, I remember this one particular time. I'm hang up. She, you could tell this girl was sick. You know, she's light infected. So 
her eyes were like bloodshot, her nose, she coughing. And and I'm thinking, wow, you know, she she gonna go see about that man, you know, sick, uh, tired, probably got responsibilities at home with the kids or trying to keep business afloat. And I said that to say this. This, and this is how you repay me. Even if it wasn't about him being locked up. You know, we don't say money aside. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I've been with you with your little broke ass when you didn't have. And this, well, this is what you give me. Tiny you was famous. Tiny, yeah. Tiny was the famous person in the relationship when they got together. She sure was. She sure was. She was you, in you know what? He was you an absolutely right. Didn't nobody know who he was? Everybody knew it's gay. She brought him up. She, she brought, she, you, should, you are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And, and it's like, you know, like I said, that you, you, you got a point to prove. You got a point to prove, Ti. I mean, uh, Ti, but whatever it is, if you know, you what you put out there in the universe, he'll, he'll see it again. He'll see it again. But you know, everybody will be saying, "Tiny girl, you need to leave him. You need to do shut up." Because the majority of folks around here are uh, uh, talking about what she needs to do. What are you doing? The be honest. The we can be honest with ourselves. Saying, the majority huh? of the folks, the majority of the people who are saying, Tiny, you need to leave him are the ones waiting on the doorsteps to pick him up. So, not, you know, my thing come is... On, come on, come on, come on, girl, look. Who to leave and who not to leave. My <laughs> thing is, that's your man. You're going to stand by him, stand by him. Everybody do good, everybody do wrong. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide your level of forgiveness. Either you're going to forgive him or you ain't. But clearly, you know, whatever they have is working for them. I can't judge him. I can't. There you go. There you go. And hey, I'm taking that motion, baby. And with you saying that, I conclude this conversation. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'll be tuning in. I already read for that little master class, baby. It's, it, you got, yes. I, it's on the topic. It's on the topic. <laughs> yes. and blessings to you. Keep doing what you're doing, Michelle. Thank you. And thank you so much for calling. I appreciate bye -bye. you. Memphis in the Absolutely. House. Yes. All right. Bye. Yes, baby. Believe in country. Country Memphis, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for tuning in for my impromptu tea session. I appreciate all of the callers. I appreciate Zeals for holding it down in the chat. Um, if you haven't already, visit straightfromtheaid.com to read about Tani's party on Friday. T.I. wasn't there. You know, he he hurried up and went and bought a car and gave it to us Saturday morning at her apartment. Uh, this is the little recap. As I said earlier in this video, I don't sit around searching the, the courthouse documents to see who losing their house and who ain't. I don't, like, at the end of the day, I didn't even want to write about this. I promise you, I didn't. But, you know, it's like, if I don't write about it, who is? So, anyway. Uh, the squad member hit me up and was like, hey, I saw T.I. gave Tiny the used Mercedes and they were in front of a condo building. Why is that? Why were they in front of them apartments? She did some duck digging. Squad member, shout out to you. I'm not going to give your name, I promise. But she sent me a link to where Tiny's house had been foreclosed. And that is it. It is public record. Um, y'all can Google it yourself and find it, but you'll know where it came from. It came from straight from the A.com. It came from the squad. It came from celebrity blogger Michelle Brown. Shout out to Sandra Rose for giving me my credit on SandraRose.com. Uh, if you want to read it, Sandra wrote a very good article on it. I'm preparing my article right now, but as I told y'all, I like to come live and give it to you straight from the A. Alien. So I appreciate you guys. If you haven't already liked this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Straight from the A.com. See y'all later.